Hi my loves, welcome back. Today I'm gonna to be sharing with you my best of beauty for 2023 and I could not be any more excited. I love favorites videos and I love filming this video every single year. So I'm gonna do a very quick recap of everything that I've loved for the year, my standout products. This is actually a little emotional because this is my 11th year anniversary on YouTube. December 31st, 2012 was the first video I've ever uploaded and fast forward to now and we're here and I could not be any more grateful for you guys. I love my little corner of the internet so much. I'm so blessed to have the most amazing community. So thank you guys for another amazing year and I'm so excited for the new year. And I'm really excited about this video because we're going to talk all things beauty. I have a couple things in each category. As always, I'm going to go in the order in which I do my makeup and we're going to just talk all the things. So grab a snack, definitely get cozy and let's get into it and have some girl time. Starting with my most used and loved brushes of the year, hands down, Anissa Beauty Brushes specifically my Juicy Jazz Essentials brush set. And I want to give a huge thank you to Anissa Beauty for sponsoring this portion of today's video. I love everything about Anissa Beauty brushes down to the packaging. The quality is amazing, but also these are just so aesthetically pleasing and the prettiest brushes in my collection. And all of Anissa Beauty brushes, by the way, are vegan, cruelty-free, and sustainably made. And these three right here are three of many because if you go on their website, you can see that there's tons of variety, tons of great shapes. There's also really good skincare brushes that I love to incorporate in my morning and nighttime skincare routine. But this brush set right here has been my go-to for pretty much any makeup look, whether it's simple or more glam. These are the only brushes that I've been using on camera and off camera. If you guys have seen my videos, you've seen these purple brushes in pretty much every single one of them because they are that good and my makeup has never looked better. The Pinnacle Foundation Brush is amazing for literally any foundation or skin tint, any liquid product really. It has such a great shape and size, so it's going to give you such a smooth streak free application and you're able to blend out your foundation really quickly with this brush it's also nice because if you're ever traveling and you want just a one and done kind of brush this is it because it's going to work for any foundation concealer liquid bronzer liquid blush you could honestly use the worst foundation to date with one star rating but with this brush it's going to make it look good because that's how good the brush is i'm not kidding and then i love the angled concealer brush because of the shape as well it has a perfect amount of density too and it's a little bit angled so it kind of mimics your finger so when you're blending out your concealer, you can really get in your under eye area and be super precise and blend things out so quickly. This could also even double up and work for nose contour. So that's another thing I love about these brushes is that they're very practical, but very multi-use as well. And then the tapered highlighter brush is my favorite for all of my powdered blushes and highlighters. You could also use it for powders as well, but for the cheeks, it is perfection. It gives such a smooth diffused look and everything just looks very blended. You don't even have to put a lot of effort into it. You just dip your brush into the product and sweep this onto your cheeks and you're going to have the most beautiful airbrushed blush and highlighter to look without putting in any effort. So these three brushes right here were definitely my go-tos for everything and I cannot wait to continue using these in 2024 and honestly for years on end because these are brushes that you get now and you're going to have them for years to come because they are such good quality. If you guys want to try these out and you have not, highly recommend and Anissa Beauty is doing 24% off in honor of 2024 with code Hello24. So I will have all the details in the description box below. And thank you once again to Anissa Beauty for working with me in this section of today's video. So grateful and I can't wait to continue using these for literally the rest of my life. So I did not think that this year was going to be the year that I would switch up my brows, but it was. So the first product I have to mention is the brow frame from Dominique Cosmetics. I actually just stocked up and I got four of these in the mail and I just used a fresh one today. So I think my brows are looking pretty good, but this is hand down the best brow pencil I have used and it's crazy because I truly never thought I would switch up my brow routine but the minute that I started using this it took a little bit of time for me to get used to it but the more that I did my brows with this the more that I just fell in love with the formula and the way my brows were looking I also feel like I can do my brows really quickly with this brow pencil it has the best shape also comes with a built-in spoolie and a sharpener it is just such a good formula and because of the shape I feel like is why I'm able to do my brows so quickly I can outline and fill them in with this and it just gives such a gorgeous soft diffused brow and I am in the color soft black brown and I seriously love it so much at first I was like oh I need something darker but no I now realized that my brows don't have to be as dark as my hair they can be a little bit lighter and this is truly the perfect shade but there's about eight other colors and it is truly the best formula my brows are in place all day and I love doing my brows now with this pencil because it's so easy and then when it comes to brow gels I have to say the 
Rare Beauty Brow Gel is incredible. It gives such a good hold and it actually keeps my brows in place all day without them flaking. So I really love this formula. This was so easy to work with and I hope that this is not limited edition. I've heard that it is, but I really hope it's not because it literally is the best brow gel I've ever used. I always have to shout out an eye primer because I'm an eye primer girly and I feel like a lot of people don't use eye primer. Most people that I see, they just use concealer, but I love the Rare Beauty eyeshadow primer. This makes your shadows pop, last all day. I love the finish of this too because when it dries down, it's a little bit more of a soft matte finish and I just repurchased this. I've been using the same one for like over a year and I just ran out of it this year. So it lasts such a long time, but it's a really nice consistency. It doesn't dry out my lids, but it also gives a little bit of color to them. So it mutes everything out and just is the perfect prep before eyeshadow. Next up for eyeshadows, I have to shout out the Patrick Ta Major Dimensions 3 palette. Even though I just started using this in the fall time, this has been my favorite palette. And I think if I could only choose one palette in my collection, this would be it. I know it is pricey, but it is such amazing quality. I love the mixture too of all matte shades, but also the two creams and the fact that you get warm and cool tones in here. It is a perfect palette for literally any occasion, any type of glam that you're doing. This is the moment and the best matte eyeshadow formula I've ever used next to another one that I'm going to mention in a minute but I really love this I think this is just like one palette that you if you splurge on it you really don't need anything else like this is amazing quality the shadows are buttery smooth pigmented this white in here is actually what I have on it in my inner corners and it is the most pigmented white shade I've ever used same with the black and I love that you get the creams in here that's actually what I'm wearing on my eyes today and it is just such a good neutral palette for any kind of makeup look. I love it. And I've tried other Patrick Ta eyeshadows, but this is by far my favorite palette and I think the best personally. Other palettes that I used a ton, I definitely mentioned these in my last Best of Beauty, but these Dose of Colors eyeshadow palettes are to die for and definitely underrated. So I love the Baked Browns 2 palette. You just get five eyeshadows in here, but it's literally the only five shades that you would need for any kind of neutral makeup look. I love the little mirror, so it's perfect for traveling. But this year I came to the realization and I discovered, I feel like a lot of things about myself and my makeup routine, but I came to the realization that I love cool tones. And so I love the Pretty Cool palette as well. And I think it pairs beautifully with the Baked Browns too. So if you don't wanna commit to a big eyeshadow palette and you just kind of want to dabble into a few shades I really love these and this quality is next to Patrick Ta I think really good I would have to say they're like neck and neck amazing quality very smooth buttery just really good quality eyeshadows and I know it's like only five shadows in one palette but honestly for any kind of makeup look that you're doing that's neutral or glam these are all the shades that you really need I do like the variety in the Patrick Ta palette because you get a little bit more you get some like more muted shades lighter colors but I really love the these palettes and I use them a ton whenever I wanted to do more glam but they're so good and also very versatile palettes if you guys go on their website you can see that they have tons of these little palettes but these are my two most loved ones moving into eyeliners I wanted to mention two different pencil liners the first one is the essence stay and play gel liner I have loved this for years I feel like I always talk about this in my best of beauty videos but it is so good and it's under I think five dollars but this one specifically is in black raven I also love the silky nude pencil it's just a nude waterline pencil and it is incredibly creamy i love the way this wears compared to other drugstore liners and i love the way this sharpens as well too it doesn't like get ruined or anything i just use my makeup by mario sharpener and i love it but it is amazing it's such a creamy black liner and it comes in tons of different shades but the black and the nude ones are my most used and then i also love for high-end liners the tattoo pencil liner from kvd vegan beauty i'm obsessed with the shade trooper black and and Axonite Brown. These are, in my opinion, the most long-wearing high-end liners I've ever used. I love the creaminess of these as well because you don't have to tug at your eyes and they don't make my eyes water. I have super sensitive eyes and these are just perfection. I feel like everybody needs a good black, brown, and nude liner in their collection and these right here are amazing. If you want to splurge, I do find that these are a little bit more long-wearing than the Essence ones, but the Essence ones are amazing as well for the price. Let's talk mascaras. These are the two that I just cannot stop using. Milani Highly Rated Lash Extensions Mascara 
is incredible for length and just separating your lashes. I especially love this for my lower lashes. It is a tubing mascara, so it has a really good hold and lasting power, but it still comes off really easily with a good makeup remover at the end of the day. But this is the best Milani mascara I think they've ever come out with. I love everything about this. It doesn't flake. It's so long lasting and it really gets the job done, especially for my lower lashes. And then another drugstore mascara that I fell in love with in the fall time is the Lash Blast Clean Topia from CoverGirl. I've tried pretty much every CoverGirl mascara and I've been using CoverGirl mascaras for years since I first started getting into makeup. But this one, I think personally is by far the best. I only hope that they come out with a waterproof version because it is so good. This definitely gives more length, thickness, volume, but I would prefer a waterproof version just because you never know, you know, when you have those moments when you're emotional and you're wearing makeup, waterproof mascara always comes in clutch. So hopefully they'll come out with that. But these two are definitely, I feel like all that you need at the drugstore to do all the things to your lashes. I have to give an honorable mention to my Kiss So Wispy Lashes. I have been repurchasing and using these, I want to say for almost 10 years at this point. They're so easy to apply. They work with any makeup makeup look as well. Any kind of wispy lash like this, I'm a sucker for, but the Kiss ones are really just top tier. You can get them at the drugstore. They're affordable. You can reuse them. So I love the number 11s and I also love the pixie lashes. I'm wearing the number 11s today, but the pixie ones are super similar. They're just that go-to lash extension type lash and they're so lightweight. You don't even feel like you're wearing any lashes with these. And of course my Kiss Strip Lash Adhesive, the best lash glue to ever exist on the planet. I've tried a lot, but honestly, nothing compares to this and it is the most affordable. It also doesn't irritate my eyes and it keeps my lashes in place all day, especially when I do an extra layer of lash glue on my top lids and then on the lash band. My lashes ain't going nowhere. So this really is the best lash glue. It's also latex free. How could I forget this? I have to mention my favorite glitter of the year, Fenty Beauty Diamond Bomb in the shade How Many Carrots. This is, sorry, I have hair in my mouth go away. This is hands down the best glitter I've ever used in my life. I mean, are you seeing this glitter on my eyes? Every time I wear this, I get so many compliments from you guys, but also in person from other people. I'm like, Fenty Diamond Bomb. Yes, please. The only thing that I ask a Fenty is to bring this in a bunch of different colors. I would love to see this in all different shades because the glitter is unlike anything that I own. It just gives this really gorgeous, sparkly, translucent glitter effect that you can top over any eyeshadow look or even if you're not wearing any eyeshadow and you just want to amp up your eyes, just add a little bit of glitter. That's what I've been doing this entire year is adding glitter. And ever since I started putting this on my eyes, I'm like, okay, yeah, this is all that I need in life when it comes to glitter. It's this one right here. And I love it with literally any makeup look, even if you're wearing a dark eyeshadow look and you wanna just add a little pop, just take your finger, pop it on your lids, and there you go. Your look is instantly elevated. This thing is also huge. I mean, I've been using this all year and I don't see myself hitting pan on this anytime soon, so. Fenty Beauty for the win. I also wanted to mention the Rare Beauty Enlighten Highlighter because I use this also a ton in my inner corners. This is one of the prettiest, basically white champagne colors. That's gonna, I mean, you can use it as an eyeshadow, but I love it for the inner corners because it's gonna make your eyes pop. Just look a little bit more open and awake. I'm not wearing it today because I'm wearing that matte shade from the Patrick Ta palette. But whenever I want a shimmery highlighter in the inner corners, this is most likely what I'm wearing because the formula is like butter and it makes for a gorgeous eyeshadow. Compared to the Fenty Beauty Diamond Bomb, this is not glittery. This is going to give you more of that wet sheen to your eyes. So I, that's why I love it for the inner corners. And then I love the glitter all over the lids, but this is just an incredible highlighter. I think it's really pretty on the skin as well, but I just love it for the inner corner. But you got to get the color Enlighten if you like that stark white glow in there. I think we're done with the eyes, you guys. I think we did good. I really tried to keep it like minimal because I have so many favorites. I'm probably missing some stuff but these are like the ones that truly stood out to me so let's get into the complexion which is my favorite i'm actually going to start with setting sprays first because i sometimes use setting sprays before i prep my skin because if you're not using setting spray before your other primers you're doing it wrong not really, but it really does make a difference in your makeup routine. It gives you a nice little extra boost. And I feel like your other products 
are gonna sit and just last so much better on your skin if you use a setting spray first. It would not be a Juicy Jazz Best of Beauty without my Milani Make It Last, the jumbo version specifically. This is truly just a setting spray that I always go back to. The formula, the mister on this. I love the way this smells. I love that you can get the big bottle now. It is just an incredible prep and setting spray that you can use for any kind of makeup look. It gives the most gorgeous finish. It doesn't alter the finish of your makeup, but it melts everything in. It is just the best drugstore setting spray. I love this before and after makeup, or even if you want to just melt in your products as you go, it's an incredible formula. Milani Make It Last, they just do it right. A new drugstore setting spray that I fell in love with this year recently is the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Infinite Setting Spray. This has a little bit more of a matte finish, but I really like this. This impressed me a lot, and I find this comparable to the Charlotte Tilbury setting spray. So if you don't want to splurge on that, or maybe you didn't like that because of the scent, sometimes the mist or two, I love that spray, but it does get stuck, which is kind of annoying because it's so pricey. But if you didn't really like that one, give this one a shot because it's 10 bucks, but it really does such a nice job at also melting in your makeup. But when it dries down, it's a little bit more matte than the one from Milani, but I really, really like this. And then for high-end setting sprays, I'm almost out of this, but the One Size Until Dawn Mattifying Waterproof Setting Spray is just it because it really plasters your makeup on your face and it's not going anywhere i've seen this even on tiktok before of people like going into labor and using this setting spray i've seen people doing photo shoots in the water and their makeup stays in place because of the setting spray so this is pretty much like hairspray for your face it is pretty strong when you spray it but just hold your breath don't breathe it in for a few seconds and you'll be good but it really works so if you don't want your makeup to move especially in the heat this is a must. I honestly use it the most in the heat or when I know I have somewhere to be like for all day, but for like day to day or just like, you know, my go-to kind of glam, I use the Milani or the Makeup Revolution one. But sometimes I'll even like use these and then mix the one size over top because this really, like I said, is hairspray for your makeup pretty much. Let's get into primers. So I actually wanted to mention two sunscreens that I really enjoyed under makeup this year. The first one is the Sun Touchable Woe Glow from e.l.f. This is so beautiful, so glowy, but it's not greasy on the skin. And this looks so stunning under a ton of different foundations. I really like this paired with another favorite, the Power Grip Niacinamide from e.l.f. This is a beautiful combo. And I wore this so much throughout the year. I actually went through both of these products already and these are just repurchases because that's how much I loved them. But this skin prep right here, if you go in with a setting spray first, and then you do this primer combo right here, your makeup is not going anywhere all day. It is so good for a ton of different foundations. I absolutely love it. But the Woe Glow, I think is just a good everyday SPF. I enjoyed it under makeup. And even when I'm not wearing any makeup, I think this is just really pretty. I mean, I like the Super Goop one, but I feel like this gives me such a similar effect. I also loved the Notorium Dew Glow Moisturizer SPF 50. Clearly, I'm obsessed with this. I already have another <laughs> backup, but this is another beautiful, very glowy, dewy moisturizer SPF that looks great under makeup it's not heavy no white cast with this doesn't feel like you're wearing a ton of spf and it also doesn't have a really strong scent which i really appreciate i really enjoyed the power grip niacinamide at first i was like is this even a difference to the original but i actually like this one a little bit more it's a bit more hydrating than the green one i love the green one still but this one it just really does it for me and it truly makes your product stick and last so much longer versus when you don't use this, it's the best. And then whenever I wanted something a little bit more smoothing and matte, I loved the Pore Eclipse line from Milk Makeup and this primer is the real deal. If you have oily skin or if you just wanna smooth and mattify your skin without that dry feeling, this is the primer for you and literally a little bit of this goes a long way. You need like a dime size amount, not even. Just put this on wherever you wanna mattify your skin and it's like instant pore eraser, mattifier. It looks so good and products apply really nicely over top of this. So I love this, especially in the summertime whenever I want to just really smooth out my skin and my pores and I don't want a ton of shine peeking through. This is a really great primer. Love it. I love this line from Milk Makeup. It's really good. Now let's get into foundations. I have just a couple to mention. Of course, my House Labs Triclone Skin Tech. I recently just did a foundation declutter. And I don't want to say I'm completely over trying out new foundations because I still want to try out some new ones, especially affordable ones. I love testing new makeup, but this foundation is truly one that I could get rid of all my foundations and only use one, and it would be this one right here. I love everything about it. The formula of it, I love the way it wears. I love the ingredients in this. I love the packaging also, so 
pretty. It's a gorgeous foundation, definitely lives up to the hype. Ever since this came out, this has just been in my rotation and I always go back to it because it looks so good. I feel like this is a good special occasion foundation or just everyday foundation. It definitely is not matte. It's a more hydrating, dewy formula, but it's not greasy and it wears so nicely throughout the day, even through the heat, through working out. It's just that go-to foundation that looks good no matter what and it doesn't fail me and hasn't failed me since so I will continue to use this this year I did try out the Smashbox always on skin balancing foundation and I was very impressed with this as well this actually reminds me a lot of the house labs one but it's not as dewy it's hydrating but it dries down to a bit more of a soft matte finish so on days whenever I don't want to be as dewy I will use this and it is beautiful it's smooth it's still hydrating but it has a really good finish and lasting power to it so both of these I think are truly now my favorite high-end foundations of all time and I love the lasting power I think that's really what makes them so special is that they wear really nicely in 10 plus hours they're still gonna look good on your skin I also wanted to give an honorable mention to the elf halo glow liquid filter this is a great versatile product and I love this mixed with my foundations or also just on its own it's so pretty it gives skin tint vibes with a little bit of glow it just makes your skin look really healthy and fresh and I love it on natural makeup days or even if I just want to enhance the glowiness and have a little bit of that like just natural healthy glow peeking through i love to mix this in with my skin tints and foundations and i've been doing it a lot lately i mix it in today with the smashbox foundation and i love this combo it is so pretty this honestly looks good with pretty much all the foundations and skin tints that i've tested it out with it looks amazing so i'm in the color shade 3 light medium this is definitely a charlotte tilbury dupe i absolutely love it it's so good now for concealers, I have three here to mention. Starting off with the drugstore one, I really enjoyed the IRL filter finish from Makeup Revolution. This really impressed me. It gives a soft matte finish, but in the best way. It's not drying, it's not cakey, it gives coverage. It also wears really nicely throughout the day and it doesn't overly crease on my under eyes. So love it. I'm in the color C7, but I also have a couple different shades. C5 if I want a little bit more of a brighter look. I love the applicator as well. And it just has a really good formula it's under 10 bucks at target and i love how smooth this looks on the under eyes another concealer that really impressed me was the urban decay stay naked quickie concealer this is super full coverage it gives like foundation vibes in a concealer to be honest i loved this especially on days when i wasn't wearing a ton of foundation like in the summer this with like the elf halo glow liquid filter was a really nice combo because it's kind of doubled up as my concealer and foundation and then the elf halo glow just gave a little bit of extra tint and glow but this is really full coverage but it's so smooth on the skin and I love this big packaging this will last you forever the big doe foot is a really good concealer it's such a good formula it's very multi-use so whenever I wanted full coverage like on blast that was it for me and then I loved the house labs triclone skin tech concealer I don't get a ton of excess creasing with it and I really like the formula of this it's a bit more whipped but it's still really creamy and it melts into the skin for me it's all about of course how it looks when you first apply it but it's about how it's gonna look after six seven eight hours of wear and for me this concealer it does it for me it looks so good I feel like the longer that you wear it let's move into powders I have two loose powders two press powders you're probably already gonna know what the press powders are but let's start with the loose powders first so I really fell in love with this LA girl instant finish blurring loose powder this is matte smooth skin for ten dollars and you can get this brand at CVS or Ulta and I really love the formula of this it is so blurring on the skin it gives a little bit of brightness and I like that it is matte but it doesn't feel dry or heavy I'm all about a good matte finish but I don't want it to feel or look too cakey and this does it for me it is so good I love that it's also talc free because I feel like that's kind of rare at the drugstore but talc free ten dollars and it also looks good in photos this photographs really nicely so love this for setting my under eyes because it smooths everything out like I said and it gives a nice blurred finish and a little bit of brightness which I really like comes in a couple different shades but I have this one in the shade light and then for high-end loose powders I really again love this line from milk makeup the pore eclipse translucent loose setting powder I don't know what is in here but this is also bright smooth blurring matte i love to use this on my t-zone and my under eyes and it just looks so good this also does photograph really nicely now the first time that i photographed with this it looked a little bit light but then the more that i did it for some reason it just ended up looking better i don't know but 
It's a gorgeous powder. Highly recommend the Pore Eclipse line from Milk Makeup if you have combo or oily skin. You're gonna love it. It's really good. There's like some set type of magic or something in here, but this also comes in a couple different shades. I have this one in Translucent Light and it is one of the best loose powders I have used. Definitely added to my top five. Oops, and now I have powder all over. I actually wanna do an updated powder video because I have a couple other favorites as well. I just didn't wanna include too many in this video, but those are the two that stood out to me the most, but I have some other ones that are really good too, but that'll be for another video. For pressed powder, I mean, this is no surprise, Charlotte Tilbury pressed powder in the shade 1 fair i love this for setting for touch-ups for pretty much my entire face it just gives the most beautiful airbrushed finish it really is an airbrushed powder i love it you could even use this on your under eyes as well but something about this it just gives you matte soft skin it's like porcelain baby doll skin i love it i have repurchased this so many times i always have backups of it and then for drugstore nyx can stop won't stop powder i literally cannot stop using this this one is in light medium Mine's all beat up because she's been through the ringer, but she is such a good powder. Also love this for touch-ups and for setting. I feel like this is a really good dupe, I always say, for the Charlotte Tilbury powder. The one from Charlotte Tilbury is a little bit more airbrushed and matte, but the one from NYX is incredible, and I also pretty much go back and forth between these. I think they're amazing. Let me actually touch up with this right now. And this also comes in a couple different colors, which I love. Again, I'm using that tapered highlighter brush, which is also great for touch-ups because it just gives a really soft powdered look without being too cakey or adding any additional coverage. But hands down, the best pressed powder I've ever used. I don't think, I mean, if you guys have any other ones that you love, let me know, but I just don't want to stop using it because it's so good. It's like, why would I use anything else? But I probably will. Let's get into bronzer now. I have the Milani Liquid Contour. I went through another one of these this year. I love of this formula it's not muddy and it just gives you that perfect chisel i honestly don't even feel the need to purchase high-end liquid contours because this is that good i love the color 01 honey too because it's a little bit warm but it's not orange again it's not muddy and it has a bit of a cool tone undertone to it so i think it's perfect for everyday contouring and highly recommend you can get this at walmart and it is a forever repurchase similar to that is also the elf halo glow beauty one the contour one this one i have in light medium it's so similar to the shade honey this is honestly pretty much identical in formula wise like the liquid contour it's so good so i kind of have been going back and forth between both of those but i love them so good for a little chisel and whenever i used a cream bronzer i love the ColourPop bronze stick this is comparable to the one from rare beauty if you don't want to splurge on that one this is a great option and a little bit of this goes a long way it doesn't lift your foundation if you apply it directly onto your skin and this is also just a very blendable easy to use kind of product and then for powdered bronzer i have a couple of different favorites but i have just just been loving my physician's formula butter bronzer all over again this is truly so buttery i love the way it smells this is just that bronzer that never fails me it gives that healthy sun-kissed vacation kind of glowy bronzy look you just can't go wrong with physician's formula butter bronzer it's just that go-to bronzer that is comparable to high-end i feel like if you get this you don't even really need a high-end bronzer to be honest it's not necessary with this liquid blush this was honestly pretty easy for me because Juvia's Place is going to just take the first place and this is the only liquid blush that I'm going to mention because this is the only liquid blush that I feel like you would need in your collection. Anything Juvia's Place is just such good quality but these blushes are more pigmented than Rare Beauty. I know crazy because those are intense but these are more pigmented and i think slightly more blendable i'm wearing one of these today in the shade rosy posy but you guys these are just pretty much the liquid version of their powdered blush duos that i also am obsessed with but i mean the pigment is insane on these they the variety is amazing there's literally a blush for every single skin tone and you can also mix and match and create your perfect custom shade so i love the color soft tulip rosy posy sometimes i will use them on their own or i will mix the two shades and they are stunning super super pigmented you literally need a driplet of this and it's going to give you the perfect amount of pigment but even if you go overboard with this like i said the formula is still super blendable and creamy i know i keep saying creamy but seriously creamy and then the juvia's place volume 4 blush duo need i say more this color right here i'm wearing it today it is the perfect topper blush it's the perfect addition to your blush combo i don't care what your skin tone is i don't care what kind of blush look you like to do put this over your favorite blush combo and it's just gonna elevate it it's just gonna 
it's just gonna make it look better. So this right here is the best blush. I've been using this for over a year. Still haven't hit pan, probably won't hit pan. The formula is just so seamless. It's pigmented, but it's also really smooth. It reminds me of something high-end like from Fenty, but Juvia's Place is I think a very reasonably priced brand. It's not totally drugstore price, but it's not high-end price. It's like that happy medium, but you're getting good quality products and these blush duos they're excellent. They're fabulous. Also wanted to mention an indie brand that I fell in love with this year and this is Metamorphosis. This is specifically the Conchita blush palette. I did an entire blush video this year which definitely check it out because I really went super into detail in that video but I wanted to mention this blush palette again because for all of my pink blush lovers or just my blush lovers in general check out Metamorphosis and support a small business today because look at this blush. It's incredible. I mixed a bunch of blushes today by the way but I also also have on this right here and like the apples of my cheeks these are pretty much all the pinks that you will ever need for any type of a look but there's also an orange blush palette there's a more brighter one so it's very inclusive for all skin tones and this is just the prettiest pink palette that i own i love that you can mix and match and just customize your perfect shade and it's a really good addition again with other blushes and i love that you get a mirror it's just so freaking cute so go show metamorphosis some love this one specifically is my favorite blush of all and i just can't get enough of these tones it's so pretty house labs bio radiant gel highlighter and rose quartz you knew it was coming if you watched my videos i mean this is i'm also wearing this today i mixed a ton of blushes i just pretty much put all of these products on my face today but the way that i just want to bathe in this highlighter it's a highlighter but it's like a blush topper and this is the best color there's an orangey one but i feel like this formula is better it's not glittery it's smooth it's a smooth pinky fairy glow like it's gonna just give you that gorgeous pink fairy glow like truly look at that color you can also top this over anything or just wear it on its own and it looks amazing every single time it's worth it because it's gonna last you forever and i really like this because it makes your skin just look healthy and it brings it back to life if i ever feel like my makeup looks blah i'll just add a little bit of this blush and it just it literally elevates it and i really love this in combination with the juvia's place such a nice little combo or even this with the conchita blush palette that i just mentioned chef's kiss okay let's see what else do i got wait are we done no we're not done we have lip product oh one more thing one more thing i know that i talk about this in like every video that i can but i'm gonna talk about this for forever essence pure nude highlighter this is the best highlighter i own if i could only pick one highlighter in my collection for the rest of my life to put on my cheeks, it would be this one. This is just the best highlighter for that inner glow from within. It makes your skin look healthy, fresh. I wore this on my wedding day. I will forever wear this. If you want a highlighter look, but you don't want that intense kind of like 2016 highlighter, but you want to add a little bit of a glowy cheek, this is the best highlighter. It is just something about it. It goes on so smooth and creamy. It gives that inner glow from within without being too shimmery or too dry it looks like wet healthy delicious skin i've definitely talked about this in a lot of best of beauty videos but it deserves an honorable mention every single year it's that good let's get into lip products lip liners are going to be the same as always but i just can't help myself rare beauty kind words lip liner in the shade wise i went through so many of these this is the best lip liner but i also love the deeper shades that they have they're super creamy long wearing the price is right under 20 dollars for a lip liner i still like you know i know anything more than five dollars for a lip liner it seems aggressive but this formula is so worth it i mean this is the perfect shade but like i said oh my light just went off hold on let me get another one <laughs> We're back in action, but this really is the perfect, just neutral brown lip liner. And I love the formula of this because it glides on. You don't have to sharpen it, which is really nice. So it's good for traveling, but this is what I'm wearing today, by the way. And I just love everything about it. I have no complaints about this lip liner. I have repurchased it. I have backups currently because I can't live without this. But another one that I really enjoy whenever I want something a little bit more toned down, but still neutral is the Iconic Nude Lip Liner from Charlotte Tilbury. There's also a lot of really good shades in the charlotte tilbury lip liners they have some darker ones that are really good but this is a more matte formula i mean this one you do have to sharpen but it still glides on and i like this color because it enhances my natural lips in the best way so i love this for simple makeup days or whenever i want just a very neutral cool tone lip liner this one is incredible 
It's also really nice because it pairs with my favorite lipsticks really nicely or any gloss, lip oils. So these two really just always do it for me. You know, once you find a lip liner that works for you, it's kind of hard to like try new ones. I mean, I do have some other favorites that I do like, but these two are just always in rotation. Lipsticks. This is also something that I always have to mention. Milani Color Fetish Lipsticks have just never left my side this year. Every time I travel or every time I'm packing my makeup bag or if I'm just doing any kind of a lip combo, I have to use one of these. Today I'm actually wearing the color Pleasure, which is that gorgeous lighter pinky nude. My mom even loves these as well because they're matte, but they're so comfortable. They're just so pretty. They have the best shades. I love the packaging. The color Tease is just my perfect nude. But these I feel like are also very versatile. They could work with any different lip liner that you use, even if you want to just nude out any other darker lip combos these are really nice additions it reminds me of something high-end same with these elf o face satin lipsticks i have three shades here that i really enjoyed the first one is dirty talk which is that pretty everyday pink it's a little bit more pink than pleasure from milani but these are also by the way they smell really good but they have a more satin finish whereas milani is definitely more matte but a beautiful formula it's so i don't want to say creamy again it's so marvelous on the lips, but it really does just go on very comfortable and it gives a good amount of pigment. And then I also really like the color No Doubt. This is a more neutral nude, beautiful also with both lip liners that I mentioned. And then this color is so fun. I love this whenever I do more warm looks or in the summer with a brown lip liner, Hustle. It's like an orangey, peachy muted shade but it looks so good with a darker lip liner this is i feel like a color that will look good also if you have tanner deeper skin tone this is a gorgeous shade it's so underrated but yeah today i'm wearing a pleasure from milani can't get enough and then I, I guess i can talk about this gloss right now i kind of discovered this not that long ago but i love this so much it's the odyssey lip gloss from milk makeup this one specifically is in soul search this is the most beautiful milky baby pink gloss that i have ever used in my life it also smells like vanilla cupcakes in a bakery this formula is so smooth these also come in really pretty shades but this baby pink color just speaks to me on another level so i really like that with a lot of my favorite lip combos because it just kind of ties the pink together especially when i have pink cheeks on or like a smoky eye i feel like it just really brings the whole look together and it brings out more of those baby pink hues that i really like so it's a very milky creamy delicious it's a lip oil lip oil gloss yeah but it's not super sticky and i love the way it goes on and it applies over other lip combos so it has a good amount of pigment to it too it's actually baby pink and you can see that hint of baby pink on your lips which i love last but certainly not least i wanted to mention the fruit fetish lip oils from milani specifically their new fall shades i'm in love with this formula just kidding actually i have another lip oil that i want to mention but these milani lip oils they give gorgeous pigment they smell like fall desserts so they're actually each very unique to the like name of what they are and they also recently came out with the cranberry current one which is limited edition now for the holidays but oh my gosh these are amazing i i think i like the fall shades more than their og colors that they've had but these are beautiful with a ton of different lip liners brown lip liners darker lip liners you just pair it and it gives you pigment and shine hydration without any stickiness it's very lightweight and that's why i love them because they actually feel like a lip oil on your lips and it's really just honestly high-end i feel like milani truly has the best lip products like ever to exist for such a good price and you can't go wrong so love those three scents right here oh my gosh i just I need these in like a candle or something. They smell incredible. This is the last thing I wanted to mention. The NYX Fat Lip Oils. Also love these lip oils. They're a little bit more sticky than the ones from Milani, but I feel like they actually last pretty well and they also have good pigment and amazing shades in these. So big fan of these. I went through also like two tubes of these this year. It's just a good go-to lip oil that you can throw in your purse, pair it on its own. If you're not wearing any makeup, you just want to add a little tint to your lips. They're beautiful and I love the shades. I love the packaging, big doe foot. Some of these have a more creamy finish. Some of these have a more shimmery finish, but mm, it's really nice. These smell a little bit more fruity. The Milani ones are definitely my favorite, but the NYX comes in second place and I really enjoyed these this year as well. And this color, by the way, in Newsfeed is a really pretty wearable kind of cherry red. Gorgeous, 
absolutely gorgeous it gives your lips this really nice tint and it just makes them look like just very like cherry just very fresh we finally made it to the end that was a lot right but it kind of wasn't like i think i did a good job at narrowing everything down i got all my favorites i cannot wait to test out a ton of new makeup in 2024 but i'm also bringing all these goodies with me into the next year because they're just that good and a lot of these products are just things that i will never stop using because they're just on the level, you know? And when you're on the level, you can't get below the level. Everything will be linked down below in the description box for you guys. Also, don't forget to check out Anissa Beauty brushes and use code HELLO24 for 24% off in honor of the new year. I hope you guys have an amazing 2024. Thank you for all your continued support. I love you guys so much. Cheers to an amazing new year. Thank you guys again, and I'll see you very soon in my next one. Bye.